Hello, thanks for checking out uh, the Mesh Cutter program. This is the Otaku uh, Japanese City uh, model which is available free on the Asset Store. And uh, it's, a, it's a very nice model but it's got a few things that we can change about it. The first thing I noticed is these trees. Um, we have some floating here that we can remove. Um, the problem is that these trees are all part of one mesh. You can see both sides of the street and the footpath are all part of one mesh. So what we're going to do is split these using mesh cutter. This is our program here. And when the model is selected we can click on the lock button. This prevents us from uh, deselecting the, the model while we're working on it. And I'm going to remove these trees first. To do that we just left click and drag. You don't have to hold down a hotkey to do this. And once we've got the selected triangles, we just click on delete selected. And those trees are gone from the mesh. Um, we could continue to do that, uh, but I'll show you how to copy. We'll just lock back onto this model. And so I've selected a tree and rather than delete I'm going to copy this one and you can see that we now have a copy of it. We can also undo so I'll just undo that uh, using Control Z and we can redo it with Control Y and this time I'm also going to change its pivot point. Currently the pivot point is at zero but when we copy this mesh we actually want the, uh, the pivot point to be somewhere um, near the base of the tree. So I'm going to click on set to center and I'm going to adjust the pivot point down a bit. And now when we click on copy, we'll just replace that mesh, we can now treat it like a normal prefab. And again we can undo that one as well. Now sometimes you might want to copy more than one at a time. The fastest way to do that is to use the marquee tool. I'm going to select the model and lock onto it. And to select using the marquee we hold down the uh, control key or the hotkey and we just drag a box around it. We've selected these. I'll set the center, the pivot point um, to be somewhere there. And rather than copy this time I'm going to cut and now we can move those trees wherever we want. Of course we can make a copy of them just like a normal prefab. So I'll leave them there for now. Um, to show the marquee tool a little bit better, um, you can see that this bridge is all one mesh. Um, and this part here looks a bit strange so we'll select that using the marquee tool just lock onto that, drag around it, click on delete, and that part of the mesh is gone. Now we can also work on meshes that have uh, are made up of submeshes. The river is an example of this. Uh, the water is one submesh and the walls of the riverbank are another submesh. Um, so what we can do again to just lock onto that hold down the mouse button, we don't have to use the hotkey, and we can just paint to select the part that we want to cut. Um, of course we can cut it. Should have moved the pivot point, but you can see that we just cut that river out. So undo all the way back. Delete those two meshes. Now, the riverbank here, if we wanted to, this works on any model with uh, multiple submeshes. We'd lock onto it and we can select um, two parts, this submesh and this submesh here, and we can create a single submesh or we can create multiple submeshes. Multiple will respect the two, so we'll end up with a model with actually four submeshes um, one for this grey edge one for the water, one for this part, and one for this, and we can add new textures to those. So I'll create uh, submeshes.
This is just an example. Um, we can change the texture to something like that, uh, just to, as an example. And then we can change the other one to another texture. Again, this doesn't have proper UV mapping. Um, but that's an example of creating two submeshes from the existing submeshes. I'll just undo those. And some of the features um, you can select all very quickly. Um, clear the selected, of course. And sometimes you might want to invert the selection so we can select some if we decide. Sometimes it's faster to select all of a model and then actually deselect. Uh, this would be a good example. So we would select all of the model, hold down the shift key and just unselect the, the edges of the river. That would probably be the fastest way to, to work with this mesh. Um, you can invert the selection like so. And some of the options we have are in the settings here when we're copying or cutting we can also parent with the original mesh in the hierarchy. Um, you can turn on or off um, create prefab. Uh, you can set the path to the prefabs anywhere in your project. You can change the default key. You can change the color of the the highlight when working with the meshes. Uh, all of these settings will be saved automatically when you close the program or you can save them manually. Uh, you can load the settings back uh, from a saved file and you can also load the defaults. And uh, I thank you for watching the introduction to Mesh, Mesh Cutter and uh, hope you get much use out of it. Thank you very much. Bye.